Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be the general daily collective message for February 22nd. So this is the 222 two, two portal. Today's date, uh, the whole date adds up to Karmic Debt 14, which is also connected to the energy of temperance. We also have the Venus Mars conjunction taking place today, guys. And so this is the fusion. This is the union. The inner union will lead to the outer union. And so there's a lot kind of happening in the energies. I hope you all survived yesterday's energies with the moon opposing Pluto, Mars, and Venus. And so there was like a massive uh, portal of heart awakening, I feel, that took place. In the energies yesterday and so today we're at the crossroads right two is the energy of crossroads decisions needing to make a decision uh, at a pivotal point on the journey of being presented with the choice to evolve or to remain so let's get into this before jumping in with uh, the message that I received in meditation I do want to mention that I am offering another five-week online tarot class and so this class is going to run for five weeks from March 12th till April the 9th. And there's two options. Of course, there's two options for the class. There's a daytime option and an evening option. And the link below to register for the class is, is in the description box. So check it out. All times are Eastern Standard Time. There'll be a video card above as well for easy access to the link. I also have a new webpage that I've launched. If you would like to book a reading, feel free to head over to the webpage and check it out. Also, there is now an option to join the membership side of the channel. I will be uh, recording and posting the Pisces birthday video. So every month on the bonus side of the channel, on the membership side of the channel, there's going to be a bonus birthday video for each of the signs. Aquarius is up for last month. Pisces, you're up next. And so I know it's a little bit late. I've had a series of unfortunate challenges the last couple of days to work through along with work. So please be patient with me, guys, okay? So yeah, check out the membership. I'd love to have you join me over there. There's all kinds of bonus perks. There's a description about all of that. So let's get into it. I was asked to sit in the energy of angel number 222 and to channel those energies for you before jumping in with the cards. And so I feel this is an energy representing unconditional love. Unity, unity between two people, unity between the collective unity, just unity, right? And so this is also the energy of two people being brought together by fate for a higher purpose, for a higher union. And so I think there's signs, signs everywhere are signs lately in the energies. And so I do feel 222 two, two is a huge uh, indication that you have found your mirror soul. Okay, uh, so 222 two, two means you found your mirror soul. And it's a beautiful feeling. And so I also feel this is also a sign of divine's, the divine's assurance. Uh, and to bring forward motivation that things are going to get back on track. Because right now it feels like everything's kind of crumbling around. Uh, but everything kind of has to crumble and dismantle for the new cycle. And so many of us are being spiritually guided towards uh, a union, a faded union, a uh, uh, where we will be brought together for a higher fated purpose. Uh, right now, there's a lot of crown chakra activations, crown chakra downloads coming in, I feel. And so we are being spiritually led and guided. So we do need to trust our intuition and all of the inner wisdom that is coming forward in this uh, cracked open energy is what I feel. It's like cracked open. And so Venus conjunct the Mars energy is the lovers with the three of swords, which is cracked open. And so we can't create that space for this divine union until we are cracked open and we purge everything that is a block to receiving this unconditional love and unity between you and another. And so uh, Venus conjunct Mars is taking place in the second house of Capricorn too. And this was, this was bringing forward an energy of justice with the Ten of Cups, I was shown the wheel with the Empress, and I was shown the strength with the King of Swords. And so there's a, there's a couple opportunities here, I feel, playing out in the energies. There's an opportunity to start a new relationship, for sure, without a doubt. There's an opportunity to create something really great 
in this partnership with this new beginning. Uh, but we do have to harness and channel our sexual energy, okay? The wheel and the empress was a huge energy uh, indicating increased sensuality and sexuality. Who doesn't want the empress? She's like a magnet, right? The empress is just glowing. She's magnetically attractive. And so uh, the divine feminine collective, I feel right now, is just exuding this attractive aura, like a very magnetic auric field is taking place, attracting numerous opportunities, work opportunities, friendship opportunities, including new romance and new love. That is the energy of this conjunction. But first, we got to foster this deeper connection to self, right? I feel a lot of the masculines are going through a massive heart chakra awakening. So there could have been a crisis or a catalyst event uh, to open up the masculine's heart so we can embrace this opportunity for vulnerability and growth uh, in a union. The strength with the King of Swords coming through today, this is like the masculine collective, I feel, coming through strongly. And this is where the masculine goes through the union of the mental strength, the uh, the rationality to find the courage to take that leap of faith with the Divine Feminine. And this is also an indication, I feel, of a very deep uh, connection that will be built on mutual respect honesty and trust and so there's a harmonious balance uh taking place between the head and the heart for the divine masculine between the leo and the aquarius energy and so justice with the ten of cups this is this is divine this is this is it right this is what you this is what you deserve you've done the work uh to align to this sacred balanced union and so i do feel aligning to fulfillment joy and abundance but first we got to clear everything that's a block to that so let's jump in with some cards let's see what else needs to come through i was asked to grab the wisdom of the oracle deck and they specifically asked me to grab the box so i don't know what's going to come out with this deck but i'm thinking we might need to read out of the book there's that uh, come to the edge so there's the fool and i'm hearing that aerosmith song again living on the edge Ah, so somebody can't help themselves. They're free fallen is what I'm feeling. And it is a bit love. Look, I don't know if they're little hearts or rose petals. And so we do have a divine feminine here that is ready. She's ready for a new cycle, right? She's in a white dress. She's ready for love. She's ready to free fall. She's ready to take that leap of faith. And this is a divinely guided, blessed union, master number 22. So that is a master builder number. And so blessings are coming. Somebody here is like a, a spiritual mentor, a teacher, blessings. And this is what you prayed for. And they are arriving on angel's wings. So get ready to take a leap of faith. There is a cycle reaching completion. 36 is also a nine card. And so I'm feeling there's something completing going all the way back to 2016. Oh, look at that. Some cars just fell. And so whatever you've been purging since about 2016, it's leading you towards happiness. So what do we got that just fell? We get come to the edge, co-create and poise. Yeah, we have a divine feminine here that I feel has really walked a fine line during an awakening process and received divine wisdom. We get the owl. So we get like uh, Isis energy, Isis codes. We get the egg. And so something hasn't quite been birthed, but you've got what it takes to go the distance. And so somebody here is coming into a lot of recognition. I feel affluent energy for sure, for sure, affluency. And so I have, there's a blessed uh, new beginning here is what it feels like. So let's see what needs to come through. Not for you. And so this is where we're at collectively. It's six energy. So six is all about movement, balance. Uh, six in the tarot represents uh, Libra energy, the scales, justice. The six of swords represents leaving an old mindset behind when it comes to manipulation, self-deception, self-sabotaging behaviors. The six of pentacles is all about the law of reciprocity. The six of cups is an indication of a divine union. Uh, maybe somebody all the way back from childhood has recently appeared on your path or will appear on your path. And there might be a possibility for twin soul rec reconciliation, a reunion. What's the last six? The six of wands. That's victory after maybe many years of challenges and sorrows. And so get rid of what's not for you to bring in a lucky blessing. And so this is like divinely guided. It's a fortune. 
a fortunate event, maybe a series of unfortunate events leading you towards your new destined pathway. But this is the energy I feel of wide open. So ascension, imagine, judgment too. It's a 20 card, so judgment. And so we are in the midst of chaos and conflict too. And so master number 33, there is a master teacher coming through. And so uh, like we've got a zebra here that is trying to change its stripes is what it looks like. There's chaos and conflict because you can't force yourself to be something that you're not. So it looks like somebody here has tried to cover up their zebra stripes to blend in. And what does that look like? A giraffe pattern on a zebra. And so somebody's really missed the higher perspective. I feel ascension. And so there's going to be some chaos and conflict to get something moving. And this is faded. This is destined. And there's the ascension that I felt. So serendipitous. There is a faded divine union here. It is a blessing, and so I feel a hidden blessing, a blessing in disguise with the 18. So moon energy coming through as well, and there's that fork in the road. So somebody here is at a major pivot point, fork in the road, a divine why, and they're in a, a process of death. It's 13. To rise as a purified uh, leader, a stag. And so I do feel a divine masculine. Uh, the stag energy is connected to divine masculine. And so what I want to say is not my circus, not my monkeys. Okay. It's interesting. I was born the year of the monkey. Uh, my daughter's also born the year of the monkey, my little one. Um, but it's time to maybe wave the white flag. We've got a masculine here stepping into leadership. And there could be an internal conflict about taking action if you notice like all of the dissipation here it's interesting my little one went for her shots last night and she's homesick today because of that but after we got home she said oh my body feels so weird like everything's disintegrating it's like what <laughs> so it could just feel like something is disintegrating and then on the bottom of the deck we get peace and so 23 get ready to face some challenges and it's the energy of purifying your soul and your spirit to be like a dove is that a prince song i think your spirit's like a dove maybe i don't know or when doves cry uh and then we get that blessing so there's a lot of healing going on there's a lot of past memories coming up we're coming up to the north node uh, conjunct chiron it did take place on the 19th according to vedic astrology but i'm I'm an intuitive Western astrologer, and so that is coming up on March the 5th, and so we're kind of in this massive mending portal, preparing for a brand new life, and then the action will come. So there is a masculine that is needing to take action, but I feel going through a massive purge and cleanse before they can come to the edge and co-create with the divine feminine, who I feel is gaining a lot of affluence at this time. So let's read not for you. I think that's the card. That's the card we got to read today, not for you. It's a six card, and so uh, let's read it. Let's go into this message a little bit deeper, and then we're going to pull in with the tarot, okay? Not for you. A clear knowing that something is being denied you. Rejection is God's, God's protection. And so it's like a chess game, right? So rejection is always God's protection, uh, even when it doesn't feel like that. So it doesn't matter how much you want something. Sometimes it's just not meant for you. <laughs> I know for me, I held on to something for years after its expiry date. Sometimes things just aren't for you. It doesn't matter how much work you put into it, how hard you work for it. It doesn't matter. Um, it really doesn't matter because when something's not meant for you, it will continuously elude you. And so... I feel uh, the Divine Feminine is getting back in the game after years of holding on to something that has eluded her. So I just feel like this is also the energy of we can't sit back and watch life happen from the sidelines. We do have to take part. So I, I do feel like dreams are being fulfilled, but they might not be fulfilled in exactly the way that you thought they were. Sometimes life surprises you in the most unexpected ways. And so I feel there's a lot of benevolent forces uh, redirecting the collective for the highest good right now. And so what you thought was meant for you maybe was rejected from your path because God was protecting you, preparing you for something so much better that will bring true happiness. Because I do feel true happiness is on the way and we all need to really trust that right now. And so some relationships, bottom line, they just carry with it this innate seed of failure from the beginning which will be a karmic relationship, right? And it's obvious from the beginning, but we ignore the red signs, right? 
and we uh, we escape from the observation stage and so there's just some things that aren't meant to be and you can't force a relationship to be so i feel rejection if there's anything leaving your life the divine is bringing forward protection in that in that area of your life or, or maybe you've got to reject somebody i know that's never a good feeling to be the one to reject somebody but when things aren't meant to be, it's just best to walk away for everybody's sakes involved, right? Um, otherwise, the lid gets blown off and then the tower has to come in. And so I feel right now there is a realignment of energy going on with the collective. And so when we learn from defeat, when we learn from our losses, then then we know we have what it takes to keep going, right? So uh, I also feel we got to know, what is that song? You got to know when to hold them, when to fold them, something like that. And so we can't chase after love. We can't chase things. When we're chasing after things, it's always going to run away from us. So we can't obsess over things too. When we obsess over what's eluded us, it's like banging your freaking head about against the wall, like over and over and over again. And so there is nothing romantic about chasing something or holding on to something that is not available to you. There is nothing romantic about that. And so it's just basically a process of self-torturing. And I know I've been there. I've done it. And so I think there's other lovers out there waiting for you, Divine Feminine. So stop obsessing over the past and embrace this moment of radical acceptance, surrender. Spirit wants the best for us. And we are all being realigned to something so much better right now. So I do feel there's some chaos and conflict when it comes to a faded connection. Because somebody here is definitely at, the, at a fork in the road. And there is a need to take action and to take a leap of faith and to come to the edge. Because there is a beautiful co-creative journey here that I feel will bring a lot of prosperity and a lot of blessings and a lot of happiness. But you do have to exchange a lesser cycle for a higher timeline. Okay, let's jump in with some tarot. Let's do the Archangel deck today. Yeah, oh my God, look at that. Okay, we get the star. There's that Aquarian energy and we get Aries energy, the leap of faith. Somebody is so afraid to believe in this new opportunity. You got to listen to your heart. What are, you, what are you doing here? Somebody here is so afraid to leap, to, to jump, to come to the edge. There is a dream about to come true, but you have to be willing to take the leap of faith. you got to believe in yourself. you got to believe in yourself. So let's see what else needs to come through here today. What have we got? There's that six of pentacles. And so this is about material needs. Uh, the equal giving and receiving. There's a magical unexpected offer coming. <laughs> and I do feel uh, this is going to be a very reciprocal relationship. Let's dig into this. Let's do things a little bit different today. All right. So this six of pentacles is attached to a page of swords reversed, a queen of cups reversed, an eight of wands in reverse. What do we got on the bottom of the deck? We got the wheel. With the four of Michael. So there's some heart healing here and a new perspective. I feel uh, a major heart, heart chakra purge. I feel there are some challenges here. There might be unwelcome news that might rip somebody's heart wide open. Uh, there's a great deal of uh, stuff happening all at once is what it feels like. Um, immediate downloads, a lot of downloads. I feel a lot of heart pain. I, I just feel like unwelcome news is creating a lot of challenges with the page of Michael reversed, uh, the Queen of Cups reversed, and the Eight of Wands reversed. So I feel just a major shakeup when it comes to a family or home situation. An abundance of psychic information, I feel, is also coming in, which is creating a challenge. Uh, and so there's a need to review. I also feel this is a faded new beginning and a need to gain a new perspective. But there's also a time to take a step back and heal. Because we get this five of wands as well with the eight of swords. And so there's some type of illumination coming in uh, from the divine. Uh, divine illumination. When it comes to a new meaning in life, a new belief system, I feel an alternative approach. And so life is about to be really wonderful. But there's a breakdown here going on. There could be a heart chakra activation, a breakdown of beliefs. Uh, because somebody here is really stuck in an old mindset and they're not seeing things clearly. I feel like I have to sneeze. So there could be a throat chakra activation. Hey! Okay, bless 
bless me. <laughs> bless me, please. Oh, God, bless me. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's get back to it. Okay. Um, there's a challenge that can be resolved here. Um, but somebody's not seeing things clearly. I think somebody needs to make a choice to change a situation. Somebody here, I feel, is being offered freedom. Archangel Michael is breaking somebody free from something that they have felt trapped in, maybe going back and forth in for the last couple of years. So there's a need to withdraw from drama and any dramatic people in and around you to gain a new perspective. I think there's a pause for reflection before somebody can head in a new direction. So there is going to be some challenges and some delays, I feel. And there is a heart chakra activation. And so we've got that uh, full moon in Virgo coming up here. And so there is, I feel, a major opportunity to go through a heart purification to prepare for a new, beautiful, emotional experience in love. But there is a need to purge past pains. And I do feel somebody is having a heart chakra awake, awakening, which is activating a lot of spiritual insights and downloads. The heart is the gateway receptor. Oh, there is like an awakening going on here. So this is like a carry on. So somebody here is facing their fears. Growing stronger, major wake up call, heart chakra activation for a brand new beginning. We've got a divine masculine, I, I feel, going through an awakening. I think uh, everything in this divine masculine's life is destabilizing, breaking down, um, and there's a lack of ambition when it comes to facing some challenges. But I also feel there's a divine feminine here um, guiding somebody towards calmer waters, towards the light at the end of the tunnel. But this might require somebody to relocate or travel. Uh, there's a lot of insights coming in. Tell me more about the Emperor in Reverse. Well, there's truth. <laughs> there's truth. There's a Four of Wands in Reverse coming through and a Two of Swords. So blocks are being removed. This is like the opposite of unity. So there's a masculine here, I feel, going through a breakdown, receiving divine downloads. And, and, and Archangel Michael, I feel, is cutting through illusions that have hindered a masculine to progress forward. And so there's a masculine struggling with communication, I feel. And I do feel there is telepathic communication coming through. Uh, so there is going to be blocks removed. And so I do feel there's a need to just stop over analyzing and to make a decision. There's a masculine here that needs to make a decision so they can be at peace. There's like a struggle here. There's a struggle. So what is the, what is the block? Oh, a core wound, <laughs> a core wound. So somebody here is like in their wounded warrior energy, maybe healing from a mother wound. There is a lack of peace. Uh, there's so much resistance to this uh, awakening process. There is such an enriching future ahead, but I feel a masculine releasing some past pains. So stay determined to keep moving forward because I do feel there's going to be accelerated movement and there's going to be victory after this deep emotional exploration. So be prepared. Be prepared for great passion to arrive after somebody goes through a major heart healing. So if you're the high priestess, I think you're receiving the intuitive insights. There is a social invitation here coming. Let's see what else needs to come up. <sighs> we got somebody that has manifested a spiritual partnership. So maybe by Lionsgate, that's been really loud. 27, 8 and 27. There is a spiritual partnership here. So tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> from the Grease movie. Tell me more, tell me more, please, <laughs> to close the message. Abundance by Lionsgate. So I think something is happening now that will reach full culmination by Lionsgate. So trust that abundance is coming by Lionsgate. Somebody here is a teacher and I feel helping a masculine learn a, a very painful lesson that is going through a rebirth. So 888, by this Lionsgate, 888. We've got a masculine, I feel, going through a massive heart awakening and ego death shedding some pride. So stay grounded. Uh, there is a lot of personal growth taking place between now and Lionsgate as we all step into leadership. There is a spiritual partnership here where two people are coming into union for some type of leadership mission within the spiritual community and there is going to be a happy ending. So we're closing out the karmic completion. There's a major karmic completion culminating in the energy. So just trust, 
trust, have faith, and don't rush it. And that's what I got today, guys. Holy cow. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below, guys. I do look forward to seeing you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.